Yeah, see, Sam Smith here, see? Yeah. Now the next tutorial, well, I'm gonna show you how to make the Heart of Azeroth. Yeah, see? Yeah, that's right. The Heart of Azeroth now, see? Yeah. All right, so th this is my next project. The Heart of Azeroth from World of Warcraft. The idea came from a friend. We wanted to go to BlizzCon and we wanted something unique to rock out. So he suggested making the Heart of Azeroth from World of Warcraft. And then we have some big chains on there to give it like a gimmick effect. So flavor play style, rock it out like a gangster. Yeah, she, yeah. Also while I was there, I had it signed by developers. So my Heart of Azeroth and his were both signed by developers. And I'm also gonna do a smaller one that's a little bit more accurate to what's in game as well as a leather necklace with a chain. So the 3D models for this will be in the description. I'm gonna make it all available for free like I did my last project and all my future ones coming. I'm gonna make tutorials and show you how to make all this. So just like and subscribe, stay up to date, and you'll be learning how to make this in any future projects or my previous ones. For the Alliance! For the Horde! So just a quick thing about safety, we use a lot of tools, epoxies, paint, and I want to make sure you read all the safety instructions on everything because you may have a allergic reaction, you don't want to use gloves, I use a tool without a handle, you don't want to do that. Just want to make sure you're safe and you perform all these tutorials at your own risk, you follow them at your own risk, I'm just here to inform you and just make sure you have fun. Right now we're going to make the Azerite pieces that go in the heart, so what we're going to need for this is... A measuring tool would be nice. A small screwdriver to pry it out once it's dry. A cutting tool, a hammer maybe. I found these on Amazon. I did try to use paint. I got this paint too. The paint made the resin, it took away the shine of the resin. It wasn't glossy anymore. So I would not recommend using paint. I found this, it's soap dye off of Amazon. It's basically just glitter. I'm not sure if there's any real special properties about this, but it makes the resin look amazing instead of instead of something like this. You see that? That was what I got with the, the uh, paint. These are what I get with the soap, the soap stuff. This one on the right, it could have used a more. I should have mixed more with it. This is a high dosage. So this one I'm gonna show you guys how to make. I'm gonna put, try and get a medium. And this may be weird, but I got Pam cooking spray. It's gonna be used to, yeah, we're gonna cook here. Uh, we're gonna use this to put a very thin coat inside of here so that it, won't, it will come out easier once it's done drying. I got these Q-tips, I cut the tips off, I'm gonna use those to stir. These measuring cups, I have those in bulk. And then the actual resin, uh, this will be in the description as well as all these tutorials. I got some gloves, this stuff's messy. And now that's all the materials we're gonna need for this Azerite piece, so let's go ahead and get started. So at first we're gonna get this ladle. I got this from Walmart for like $3. And it's perfect, it's a, it's a complete circle. Like some of them are oh, like oval shaped, they're on a circle, this one was perfect. I'm gonna bend it like this. And then I'm gonna flatten out this part. So that it'll sit, it'll sit up like that, all on its own. And try and get this part level. And there we go. So that part is done. I don't. Not everybody may not get the same size ladle, but I would recommend a stainless steel, so that it'll just pop out easy. And the default size for this Azerite piece should be about three inches wide. So I'll get like a measuring, and I'll just look measure this across at three inches, so you can get an idea about how wide you need it. And you can make mark it with a Sharpie, anything on the sides, so that you know what your fill line is. When you fill this with resin, you know where you can stop. And also, so you don't make it too small, because you'll need it to be about three inches wide and in diameter. So what I did to know how much of these I need, I filled it up with water, and I kept dumping the water into my ladle until it reached my fill line. And then, well, I, I had my measurements. It was the total of how many dumps I had did this in there. And what I got from that is I need I need 60 millimeters, which is two of these. It may not be that for you. You'll need to do you'll have to do your own measurements. All right. So first, we're gonna get this, and we're gonna get some of this cooking spray, and we're just gonna spray. I just you don't need a whole lot. Just a tiny bit. And I didn't even get it all over it, but 
Move it around, I got a paper towel. You don't need a whole lot, you just want it to be, when you touch it, you know it's slick. Like, it doesn't need a whole, you don't need a whole lot on there. And I think that's good. Let's get the resin, and it's a one to one ratio, so I'm gonna fill each of these to 30 millimeters. Now before I do this, I'm gonna put on some gloves. <laughs> so I prefer to do side B first because it's more liquid and side A is more thick. So you can easily measure out this to 30 millimeters and then side A will just raise the, the, uh, the level up to 60 once there's enough in there. So you don't have to worry about leveling out at top because it's so thick. I'm gonna fill this to 15 millimeters because the entire thing is 30. And I'm gonna do that with the second one because I'm gonna have one for each color. Now I'm gonna fill up side A and until the line reaches 30. I try to pour this one slow because it comes out so thick and you'll reach, you'll think you're gonna reach 30 and then it'll go way above it if you, you're not watching how much you pour. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the other one. Now I'm gonna get this. And I have these little metal spatulas I'm gonna use to get it out. So what I'm gonna do, just open one of them. And just add some in there. Now I'm going to stir each of them. What I like to do is I like to just get all the powder mixed up at top so that I try to get all the clumps out before I actually start mixing the entire thing. And then stir until you're very confident that it's all mixed together. Because if you don't mix it well, it's not gonna pour properly, it's not gonna harden properly, it's not gonna dry properly, and you're gonna have this weird sticky metallic blue thing that's not what you want. So, just stir it. Yeah, just make sure you stir it. And if you can, you can see the consistency. I think this one's about stir. And now I'm gonna just do the same thing with the gold. Gold, gold. Is someone gold? Now you can see how it hits the, you see how it drips? That's when you know you're pretty good. Okay, now that I have both of these mixed and ready to go, I'm going to pour them at the same time, half and half. So, I've done this a few times. It's, it's, it's not really that hard. Pour at the same time, aim for one, aim for these spots on the side so that when they meet the middle, they'll be about in the middle. So, when you're ready to start pouring. And make sure you get all your resin out. What I'm gonna do is take one of these stir sticks, I'm just gonna poke the middle. I'm not gonna do any crazy movements or anything, I'm just gonna poke the middle. And be careful not to tip your ladle over. And that should be good. And now, and I'm gonna get my pliers 
and set them right here so that it'll help hold it up. And if you don't think you have enough resin in there, grab a ruler and try and guess it. See if you have three inches or not, or however you're scaling your Heart of Azeroth. And if you don't have enough, just mix some more and pour it in here before it starts drying. Now just wait for it to dry. I like to pipe, pop mine out at like 48 hours. Now the instructions say it cures in 48 hours, but I feel comfortable taking it out after 24 hours and then letting it cure the rest of the way when it's out of the mold. You can wait 48 hours if you want, or you can do 24 like I me, but do whatever you like. Just make sure you wait at least 24. I would suggest, I did one after 12 and it was still kind of like not solid. So I would recommend at least 24 hours. So this is dry now, I'm gonna get it out. I've tried this a few times and I think the best way is just to literally just hit it out. Okay, so I'm gonna start by grabbing my razor and just cutting along the edge. awesome it was that easy I hope it'll be that easy for you I can't say but that's what I did cut around the edge took my hammer pow came right out oh yeah check that out check that out yeah yeah check that out yeah check that out you gonna make this you can make this yeah check that out yeah check that out ooh ooh shiny ooh, ooh look at that Ooh, yeah! Yeah, look at that. Ooh, ooh, shiny. Yeah, yeah, ooh. Yeah, just look at that. The heart of Azeroth. Yeah, yeah! What up? Yeah, yeah, yeah! 